some of my viewers probably remember this great map from just about a week ago, where we just kind of destroyed like a billion cars, I don't know how many, on these truly, truly horrible ramps. Well, horrible, depending on what your definition is. But what we're going to be doing today is a kind of sequel for that video, where we focus on some more of these ramps and just basically all of the stuff that we missed. Now, I remember that we did a fair few of these, so I suppose we should just kind of start with the ones we haven't done. Maybe revisit a few old friends like this one, but we'll have to see where this goes. So starting with this one here, this like kind of orange ramp, looks like it's, it's got some sort of like kind of bumpy stairs. I don't really know how to describe this, but let's quickly spawn in a vehicle. And there we go. Okay, so I guess we just kind of head down this. I don't really know what we should do by way of speed, but I've learned that. Oh, wait, I was going to say that I've learned that uh, the slower, the better, but evidently not with this one. Okay, so let's just hit it with a bit of speed. Okay, that's not good. All right. Yeah, <laughs> we had to deal with that like seven foot drop beforehand that isn't going to lead to anything good. Okay. Oh, wow. That's that's something. All right. We're going end over end. That seems to be a trend with these ramps. I don't really know. The the cars uh, just land on either end and at, at the first part, at least it looks like this one is just going pancake mode on us. Might not be the best. Okay. We have pieces falling off. Oh, there's our exhaust there. That's probably awesome. Dang, I wonder how many of these different parts I can identify. They're all so far away. It's funny, the speedometer's still doing things. I guess so. I guess the wheels are still technically turning, but I have a theory it's uh, not off of any engine power. Okay, it looks like we're just about here at the bottom. Okay, and there you go. Wow, this is not identifiable as a car anymore. Maybe if you looked really closely, I'll say, but wow. Like, yeah, that's... That's not great. Now, I know this ramp here is technically just a way for this road to get up, but I really want to try it, you know? I really like the, just the plain old boring straight down roads, and I just want to try like the raw speed that some of these cars can produce. So yes, let's do the van. That sounds like the best idea I've had today. Okay, and off we go. Oh, wow. Worst acceleration ever. Okay, there we go. Oh, we didn't totally decimate the car. That's great. You know, we should just do this in first person. Yeah, that's probably great. You think I can get onto the road and like effectively drive down? I'd be very shocked. Yeah, this is pretty smooth going. I think we had a little bit of a bump back there, but we'll see how it goes right here. Oh, okay. Mm, that's not great. All right. And we are flying through the air. Okay, what's going to happen? And the steering wheel is now in my face. And what's even going on? My driver cam is so messed up. Okay, let's go back to the normal camera. Seriously? Only the front part where I happen to be got destroyed? That's not fair. So what should we do with this ice ramp? What would be the best course of action, do you think? Oh, textures do weird things. Now, we would probably need something with serious traction, so none of the, like, the road vehicles we've really been using. So let's try this Arata Sport Turbo here and just kind of spawn that in. There we go. All right. And I have no idea how we're going to go about this. Okay, we're slipping, we're slipping, we're sliding, we're slipping. Okay, not great. Oh, oh, we're not so bad. Okay, we're getting so bad, and we have uh, missing two missing wheels at this point. We aren't even a third of the way down. Maybe we're a third of the way down, but oh boy. In first person, this is just so dizzying. Oh, dang. No, we're not doing that. Okay, oh wow. And we're just going to slam right into there. Dang. <laughs> I swear I just heard a squeak when it hit the ground. Is that how damaged we are to the point that we're squeaking? It's a little pathetic, but wow, this thing is just utterly destroyed. But at least we didn't get stuck along the way like we could with some that are coming up. So keep watching until the end to figure out what, what it's like when your car gets stuck. Because it's pretty sad. So this next one has like a definitive path we're supposed to take. But it should provide quite an experience considering I would have a hunch that this is like snow and this is all ice. Probably because I've done this one before. But let's take a vehicle. Let's do the Roamer. That sounds like... That sounds like the perfect vehicle for this kind of environment, you know? I mean, do we even have any debates for that? <laughs> and, oh, I stopped the recording. Okay, didn't know I was recording on BeamNG Drive. Okay, and that's not great for the engine. Oh, and for the rest of the car. All right, we have wheels flying everywhere. This That feels like we have there are more wheels flying around than we initially had in this car. I swear I've seen like four just swiveling the camera around. Oh my gosh, the car has peeled away from the frame. That's, that's not great. We have these feels of like 
motionless wait not motionlessness uh weightlessness that just is really confuzzling okay we're on fire and going back up the hill how did that happen wow this just ate this car for breakfast like i don't even know what happened wow i mean allow me to amend it was great for destruction purposes but if you wanted to you know survive that was not the best way to go well, this will provide quite an experience. This is actually similar to the red poles that we did in the last video on this map, but, you know, trees this time. It feels a little more natural, which might be fun for, you know, morale and stuff. But let's quickly spawn in a vehicle. Let's go with something like... Actually, I remember the Civetta Chantilla was... Did we use that on the on the red pole one? I feel like we might have. Let's let's do that. Oh, it feels like forever ago. It was just, it was just, it was just like a week ago, guys. And all right. So nice and slow, nice and slow. Be very careful. Okay. Wow. Yeah, I don't think we used the Chantilla on the last one. That's uh, it's it's so rough now because I've actually been playing this game this uh this map specifically in my free time, so it's hard to tell stuff apart. Oh, oh, how did we do that? Okay, we've lost the right left tire. Wait, right left? Rear left? I don't know what this is. Right left. Oh, what nonsense. And we're still going. I mean, we only have half a car, but this front part is actually remarkably undamaged. I'm a little shocked. It's the opposite problem as to what the van had. The the, op the back is getting destroyed rather, rather than the front. Yeah, there you go. Well, you know what? I want to try this one more time in first person. Let's just see how it goes. Okay. Oh, well. All right. All right, let's go over here this time, maybe, if we can manage it. And, oh, dang, okay. I think it's a little disturbing the way that the flowers don't react to my car going over them. It just doesn't feel super realistic. I don't know. And, oh, we're actually not doing too terrible at this. Uh, gotta be careful, though. Oh, no, ugh. We just did too terrible. We've definitely wrapped around the tree. That is wrapping around a tree, if I've ever seen it. Oh boy. Yeah, this is an interesting map. I mean, ramp. I mean, well, yes, the whole map is interesting, but this ramp specifically is really fun. I could just do a whole video on doing this, but I know I would have like five second watch time, so not great. Let's move on to this rock course over here and just see what's in store for us. So using the blue buck, let's just try and see if we can navigate this. Oh no, I know that we have like a, like a, another, another little like off-roading Jeep. I forget the name for it that we could use for this. Yeah, this was not the best, the best, uh, best, the best thing to use. And hey, it looks like we're just about to have our little example of what happens when the, uh, the car gets stuck. And this is an interesting situation, actually, because, like, look, the, the car's like a crescent moon shape. That was a terrible place to grab. But there you go. Oh, we're moving again. We're moving again. Are we going to go off this, like, little mini cliff? Oh, oh, maybe. Okay, yeah, we're still going. We're still going, kind of. Dang. This is really saddening to watch. Yep, here we are. Stuck fast. All right, it's time to use the, like, dune buggy that I mentioned. Dune buggy? That's not a dune buggy. Wait, is it? I don't know. Rock basher, rock racer sounds like what we want let's go replace current and there we go and down we go okay that's not good this whole thing isn't that good i had these second thoughts as we're going over the edge like when you're on a water slide and you're like no what am i doing with my life this is not good oh wow oh okay ah ouch we got stuck again yeah i probably should have tried with that i didn't even run the engine for more than you know three seconds in total so let's just try this one more time oh ouch okay wow that's 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 something okay here let's try to like work our way over in this direction dang everything's destroyed and off the edge off the edge come on off the edge yes oh we're so close come on no yes kind of oh yes there we go all right we're moving we're moving oh we're unmoving okay yep uh come on yes do it do it i, I believe you can oh 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 dang this is really hard to traverse yeah, we made it. How far did we make it? Yeah, maybe a third of the way down, quarter of the way down. It's a pity we didn't get farther. Let's move on to the next ramp. So this one actually has options. That should be interesting. Should we do these like little round rollers or maybe the stairs? We kind of saw the stairs with the first map that we did, ramp that we did over there. I always get ramp and map confused. I don't know why they aren't even remotely similar, but you know what? I don't know. Now let's head off. Okay, okay, so what are these rollers going to do? I say rollers, I guess that's because they look like rolling pins to me, but you say, you, you call what you like, and... Wait, are we gonna get stuck again? Are they big enough for that? Oh, they might be. They might be big enough for us to get stuck. 
oh, inch our way over the edge. We just have to get enough speed that we just kind of cruise off the edge there. But yeah, yeah, I mean, I feel like we're about to get stuck. Yeah, there we go. Now turn, turn, reverse, return, turn, turn. Yeah, I guess we're stuck here unless I use the nodes. Okay, so what if we just pulled back a ton and tried to do it that way? What would happen then? All right, and go. Okay, bad acceleration, but maybe we can get going up to a sufficient speed that this will be uh, adequate for us to get off the edge nice and fast. Okay, actually, this is a really cool checkerboard design. I, I like it. And all right, we're doing about 80 miles per hour. Oh, yeah, this hurts. We've broken a lot, as you can see here. <laughs> yeah, all right, we have, we're, we're down to three wheels. You know what? It's not as bad as it could be. Oh no. <laughs> and two wheels. Oh, ouch. And we are just down to a skeleton once again. Yeah, that's that's saddening. Oh, there goes a piece of truck. And we're on fire. Glorious. I didn't even know there was enough stuff on there to still burn, but, you know, evidently. And we're down to one wheel. Maybe we can keep it to the bottom, you know? And at least we still have the engine attached. You know, look on the bright side. There are lots of good things out there. Oh, wow. Where are we going to wind up? Are we going to hit the wall over there? Yeah. Dang. <laughs> now, where did the other pieces of car go? Let's look. Are they still coming down? I don't see any. Uh, oh, there's one. What is this? Um, oh, is this part of the windshield? Uh, yeah, that looks like it was once part of the windshield. Yeah, you can see where it came back to the bed here. This is one aggressive ramp, I'll tell you. Now, I know this dirt ramp looks pretty easy to, to go down, but looks can be highly deceptive, as I've learned from doing this in a chintilla. So let's come over here and try, I guess, another relatively normal car. This is probably like a really exceptional car, and I just don't know anything. But since none of the cars are real, does it really matter anyway? And down we go. Now, see, we have a ton of dirt just up and flying in first person. Oh, it isn't so bad. The shocks are taking care of some some of the jolt. Only some of the jolt, I'll say. Uh, but, yeah, this would be quite an adventure to ride in. Uh, do any of these buttons work? Um, I guess not. Okay. Oh, wow. I was not paying attention. Oh, dang. What just happened? Are we still flying? Oh, we are. And we're underwater. Okay. And what happened? <laughs> okay, this whole car is pretty much completely pulverized. Let's pull this out and just hang. Oh, mm, it's a little more pulverized now. Let's just see. Okay, yeah, this is obviously being pulled. I can see some seats in there. And wow, this is just utterly decimated. But a really cool location, I'll say. This is a, an awesome map. Highly recommend it. Now, to round off this video, I want to show you guys some of the open slides here that we kind of skipped over during the first part of this little uh, franchise. So we have a bunch of these like partially open ones where it's like a closed tube leading down to a big bowl here. But I want to start with... Uh, where was it? Oh, dang, I totally lose stuff in here. This one that's completely open all the way down. So let's just kind of come in here and what would be best? Kind of want to use a cool car this time. So let's do the Civita Blide and there we go. And oh, wow, did not spawn that in super efficiently. And down we go. Yeah, the ground here is kind of low poly, which might not be great but uh it looks like that might be what we have to work with yeah it, it'll, it, it might just be kind of rough at supporting this car that has a very low uh, clearance as it is uh but how fast can we kind of get going in here that's actually a terrible question this kind of environment if you're ever in a car and you're for some reason going down a water slide don't see how fast you can get going because you'll probably die okay so we're not doing too badly at this at the slide um the car is mostly intact. Oh, I take it back. Looks like our rear left tire is deflated. You know what? I'm going to stop and see if that's right. Does the rear left tire look deflated? Um, yes. Oh, wait. Is that chunk missing, like, accidental? Or is it, like, a glitch? Or what's going on there? Anyway, we better just kind of finish out this, this, uh, this kind of, this water slide. Totally forgot the name for a second there. And, okay, we have broken the car in half. Wow. <laughs> now, are we gonna, gonna go down to that ravine? 
maybe no it doesn't look like it yeah uh looks like we'll just kind of bypass the shark there and go all the way down into the water it looks like oh okay wow and there you go car's on fire oh no now it's on an on fire and how deep will we sink here is this is this very deep uh oh no there's the bottom so over here starting with this little like orangish red slide let's Get out the Svetta Chantilla. I love this car so much, guys. <laughs> it's great. I should probably find a better one. And let's come in here and... Oh, even our terrible clearance was still able to um, mostly clear that. Here, I'm just going to quickly reset. And off we go. And okay, uh, very little traction going on in here. Of course, this looks like the smoothest thing in existence, so I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Uh, but if we can just kind of drift around these corners, we might have a chance to make it out. I feel like we, this shouldn't be as slidey as it is, but I don't know. I guess that's just the way it's going. And why is that still coming with me, even though it's independent? Oh, wait, no, maybe this is like, yeah, it must be sliding down. So presumably we will be coming up on the aforementioned bowl momentarily. Presumably. I really have no clue. Okay. And how are the clouds reflected in here? Do you see that? I'm seeing, like, clouds reflected, or maybe those are just, like, a light refraction, but that looks like clouds for sure that are being kind of, uh, kind of reflected in there, even though that stuff was very indoors. That's kind of trippy, actually. And we are out here in the bowl and sliding uncontrollably. Not, not how I would have wanted that to go, but let's... Oh, we're falling. We're falling. Okay, we're going down backwards. We are going down backwards. And, all right, there we go. And, oh, are we stuck? Oh, we're stuck. Okay, here, let's just grab a little wheel and see if we can pull us around. There we go. And now let's just finish out this thing. Oh, what? Are we still stuck? What's going on? Um, hello? Here, I'll try resetting. And, oh, no, that's not good. The car is sinking into the ground. Oh no, I've seen this problem before. The The pipes are just like glitching into each other. All right, we might have to create a new car like from here and hope that resolves the issue. All right, we can finally, finally complete this uh, slide. Hopefully, no, I slid again. Oh my goodness, this is so hard. Why is this so unnecessarily difficult? All right, down, down, down. Just get me off the edge, please. Oh, that's all I want. Come on, come on, come on. Oh boy, hmm. Not much better situation outside, I'll say. And where are we going to land? Uh, there's still like a slight chance we'll go into the worm's mouth, but I don't think so. Oh, maybe, maybe. Will we go into the worm's mouth? You know what? I really want to go into the worm's mouth. I'm going to give us the extra shove to head in there. And down we go. Oh, wow. Okay. We're already on fire and we aren't even past the teeth yet. This, this, this should be interesting. I mean, we're past, past those teeth, but not, not all of them. Oh, wow. And, ouch. Yeah. This really hurts. Oh, and we are stuck. Such is the sad tale of evanescent ultra-crepidarian gaming being eaten by the massive worm. I think that's what I'm going to title my autobiography.